So one question that I get asked all the time is, hey, in Lightroom, how do you use the folders and collections and where should I be putting all my files and how should I be organizing it and where does what go and why? And so that is what we're gonna be talking about in this video. So one of the common questions that I do get is what is the difference between using your folders and using collections? And the difference is that I like to use folders because for working on things because that is where actually all my files are. So if I go to any of my folders here and collect say the done folder where I've got all my finished files and right click that and go to show in finder, you'll see that a finder window comes up with the folder called done and all my files are in there. So what is on folders here is actually what is represented in my actual files. So whatever I do here, where, wherever I move this, it will translate exactly to where my files are being moved on my hard drive. And even here, you can see that as I hover over this, it will show you the actual directories in which my file actually exists. So folders show you a representation of where the files are on your hard drive and it mimics it here. What it does do uh, really nicely though in Lightroom is that it hides all the other folders leading up to that, including for example, the users, Calgary Photos, Calgary Photos Dropbox, Rob Moroto, uh, CP Working File, TSC Classes, Photo Assets, Excel Show Home Raw, Working Folders, uh, Folders and Done, right? So it doesn't show that chain of folders beforehand because it's kind of irrelevant to us working. So it's, it's just showing us what we need. And I really like that feature of this. And of course, if I needed to show uh, the parent folder, you can always go and say, show me the parent folder. And conversely, if I wanted to hide this parent folder, I could by just going here and clicking on hide this parent. So that is how the folder section works. But now what about collections then? How do we use collections and why do we use collections? Well, collections are more like a way to categorize your images. So if, if you have a bunch of photos of kitchens and you want to just create a portfolio of kitchen shots or a portfolio of exterior shots, collections is where you're going to be doing that. So to start off here, let me show you this. I'm going to go and collect my two exterior shots here, go down to collections, click on the plus sign here, and I'm going to create a collection. And this collection I'm going to call exteriors. And obviously I'm going to include selected photos for that and create. Now what it's done is down here, you'll notice it's made a exteriors collection so that if I ever need to just look for exteriors, I could go to exteriors. Next, I can go and say, let's do these ones here and I'm gonna call these ones kitchen. So I'm gonna make a collection called uh, create a collection and I'm gonna say create, perfect. Now we've got our kitchen shots in a collection. Now where this becomes really handy is when all of a sudden you have a whole ton of photos. So you can see here, I have what 45, just over 4,500 photos that I am using for my real estate course for just sample images. And it becomes really, really hard to go through and say, well, I want this one and this one. It'd be a lot easier if I was able to organize them in such a way that it made a lot of sense to me. So for example, what I can do is I can go and say, well, these ones are all living room shots. So let's create a collection called create collection living room. Now, once I create this, uh, it's going to be very easy for me to uh, just go through and keep on dragging and dropping photos into that. Or here's a neat one. It says set as target collection. So I'm going to click that on. And what that does is it becomes a target. And you'll notice that these, there's a little plus sign there to show what the, where the target is. And what a target is useful for is, for example, when I'm going through these, I can just right click or go use my left and right keys to go back and forth. Now there's a shortcut button, uh, the letter B that is for adding it to a collection. Now, where is it adding it to? It's to wherever your target is. So right now that was the living room. So 
as I'm going through these, I can say, well, hmm, which one is a living room shot? Oh, that's a living room shot. Oh my God, some of these are really old. And living room. Nope, that was a dining room. Take that off. Uh, this is a living room shot. That's a living room shot. That's a living room, living room. And I can keep going through and just keep on adding my living room shots, which is handy because later on when I need to get my living room shots for a um, for a course like this, I could just go to living room and there they are. Those are the ones that I just added from my collection. And I can go through and say, and do that for any image, okay? B. There we go. Those are my living room shots there. Let's see. Are there any more living rooms? Oh yeah, that's that's a den. That's not a living room. Here's a living room. Okay. And I can keep on adding these. And as well, you can create all sorts of different types of collections. So if you wanted to say, this is my favorite shot, then you can create a collection called favorite shot. Okay. And include that selected photo. Now, what if you get to the point where you're looking at these and thinking, okay, well, I need a new target. I need to change my target from being the living room to being the kitchen. Well, just go up to your kitchen, right click it and click on select set as target collection. And then all you have to do is go back and say kitchen. There's a good kitchen going. That's a kitchen. That's te technically a kitchen kitchen. Now, what if you get to something like uh, this? Oh, how about this? I like this photo. This is one of my favorite homes that I shot. It's got a great big ceiling. It looks nice. Uh, I love the composition. It's a it's a photo that I would consider one of my favorites, but I also want it in my collection for kitchen. So I'm clicking on B and that is adding it to the kitchen, but I also want to add this to my favorite shot. So what I can do is I can just grab that here and take it over to my favorite shots. So the beautiful thing about collections is that this photo can be in both kitchens and in favorite shots. So now I've got two, uh, two shots of my favorite and that shot is also in kitchens because that's also very relevant. So your collections become very useful in that it's a great way to organize and keep all your stuff together like that. And if you want to do one further step, uh, you can go into your collection, grab them all and on the right side, and now you can go into keywording and you can add keywords like kitchen. And all of a sudden, each of these will have the keyword kitchen. So why is it important to also add the keyword kitchen if it's already in a collection called kitchens? Isn't that a little bit redundant? Yes, kind of. So when we head back over to our folders now, there is no way that we can use our metadata to filter out something like, hmm, I want to look at everything that I have not already added to a collection. There is no method to be able to select something that's not in a collection. So what do you do? You go and take everything that's in kitchen, add the, uh, add the meta tag keyword of kitchen. Then you just go up to your folder and we will then filter based on keyword and just click on none. And now what that'll do is it will filter out all those images that have the keyword kitchen or have any keyword on it. And that means that whatever is left has not been added to a collection yet. I hope that makes sense. So if you have any questions on that, let me know. I know I get a little bit confusing, but uh, I've got three kids and my mind is kind of mush these days. So uh, hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, otherwise, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, check out my new online course at robmoroto.com. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, put them below and be sure to click on like, subscribe, and click on that little bell to be notified every time we put up new content. And I am happy to announce that our online real estate photography course is now done and it is ready for you. Just go to www.robmoroto.com and use a coupon code that is in the show notes here to get yourself a nice little discount. All right, see you later.